seen all sorts of deer here. I haven't seen all sorts of deer here. All three species that we hunt. He's telling me that he's seen red deer and fallow when he was up here and yeah. a variety of fallow colours as well, even the chocolate. You've so, seen those ones? What? Those ones? Well we are, we are only a month out from those Christmas ones? to the day. Those ones? We've seen <laughs> them all. <laughs> Will you stop? I'm concentrating. But it's going to be about 35 degrees C today so it's a little bit over 100 in the old scale Fahrenheit. It's very humid, um, we don't know what to expect so we've hinged our bets. We're going to just do a little bit of fox whistling today and I've actually bought the 7mm. Lee's got his fin light, the 308, because we do want to get some uh, meat on the ground before Christmas. Uh, and I've actually got some little special Those things for the fox. Those are bastards, aren't they? I've got, hey. some, <laughs> I've got some special rounds for these foxes. I've oh, suppressed rounds. I call them a poofed rounds, but it's not a sexual thing. It's just because they're loaded down with trail boss, uh, 120 grain hollow point, and they shoot like a 22 magnum. So it gives me the option of carrying the 7 mil, but if we do happen to whistle a fox in, we've got it covered, Lee. Go slows. Yeah, that's what we'll call them, go slows. It's a little bit more politically correct. Go slows. What about if I painted them a rainbow colour? We've just come over here, not only taken 10 steps and we've got another species, we've got a feline, but we're not in a position just to shoot him as yet. Family a deer yet? <laughs> What's yeah. going on? One minute. Right, one minute. That's it. Just spotted a couple of red deer. One male, one female. Lee reckons he's seen about four, five last oh, time. Yeah. So we're just going to try and get ahead of them here. The wind's okay for us at the moment. It's heating up already. So this is going to be our biggest issue. Is whether we decide to take one now and battle the flies and the heat, or whether we. Uh, Take the gamble, pass it up, and hopefully we'll see them later today. Oh, oh, as I say, the wind's just gone across us now. This is what can happen. That wind has just swung across us. But we're up high, so we'll see what happens here.
Well, that was a bit of an interesting hour. <laughs> we've seen the two red deer, one uh, young stag and a female, and we've moved downwind of them and then slid down this hill. I literally slid down on my backside to sort of get a view of them. And then I thought, oh, have they gone past already? But sure enough, we just sat and we waited, and all of a sudden they disappeared. We then when a good 20 minutes. Oh, yeah. Easily. Yeah. And then when I slid down on my backside to get in a bit closer, all of a sudden I see a bit of movement. I thought, just a dark, dark red deer. Well, sure enough, it wasn't a red deer. It was a Samba spiker, only probably 20 yards in front of me. So uh, I had no idea. It was actually only when that roux come up towards yeah, me, yeah, he, tur he turned around and went back, and um, that sort of pushed, uh, pushed him out into the open. But we might regret not shooting that red female because she'd be the choice she'd be my choice to take her uh, but tomorrow morning or late afternoon if we see him again yeah they're well, in trouble oh, exactly there's too many flies around there oh there's that stag there's that uh, yeah there's a yeah